All right, here we are, Grayson Island's 50 mile. Starts in like uh, five minutes or so. It's uh, a little before six. Two and a half in. Sun's coming up. Headlamps are off. Here we are, at it again. Back to back weeks. Should be fine. All right, three and a half in. <coughs> Moving way too fast, but that'll figure itself out. Dark little uh, rhododendron berry. Oh, good. The air runners in back. Still past me, but people are beginning to uh, balance themselves out. All right, doesn't get any better than that. Moon's still out. So this is the trail that Yuli and I were on yesterday where we saw the ponies at the top. This is called the rhododendron trap. So we're uh, creeping up on four. That's uh, that's why we pay money and do this shit. Uh -huh. So maybe we'll get lucky and see some uh, ponies right up top. Top of the first climb, give or take. Right where we saw our horses yesterday. There's our first little pony. There's some cows. All right, I lied. Now I'm at the top. Five point three miles, hour and 10 minutes. So now we should get it ordered with a little downhill. So 8.3, about an hour 50. It's making a nice pace, very, uh, very runnable. Trying to do my best to uh, not go too fast, which has been a problem for me. Let's see what the trail looks like. Runnable, certainly gotta watch where you're going. We've been rolling flat, a little bit of downhill, last few miles, so. Making good time. You can see all that disgusting scenery that I gotta deal with. Hardest problem right now for me is uh, the sun is uh, just brutal. It's very low, so I'll fix it off in an hour. All right, so over a quarter of the way done for uh, Creeping up on 13 miles. I've been running downhill for like literally five or six miles. So, super fast pace, which is dangerous sometimes because I'm not sure I can sustain it. But it's just so hard not to let the legs 
stretch a little bit when you're going downhill. There was a long, uh, maybe a four mile section on the Jeep trail, which is pretty, pretty easy running. And now we're on this kind of wide single track, double track maybe. Got some mud spots, but also pretty easy to run. So, feeling good. Running uh, fast, probably beyond my means for the moment, but I kind of changed this as it gets a little hilly, which must be coming up here soon, because it's a long downhill. Went through the first aid station. We got another one coming up in a little bit. But you can see pretty heavy woods. It's warming up nicely. The uh, top of the mountain with the wind blowing. It was definitely uh, cold. It's probably uh, 38 and then a 20, 30 mile an hour wind chill. It's probably 50 or so now, so pretty damn near perfect. So we'll check back in a little bit, probably during the next climb. All right, so mile 17, three and a half hours in. So the pace is uh, phenomenal. Been on this dirt road for a few miles now, mostly up, some flattened down, but uh, making really good time. Way better than I would have planned for. So see how long that continues. I'm getting past every once in a while passing someone every once in a while so doing my thing let's see we've got a just a beautiful day got mountains on both sides continue to have people close but not too close so it's all good uh, we'll uh, check in next aid station this is the longest one 11 and a half miles so next one is uh seven miles six and a half miles so we'll see what we see before then but uh everything going swimmingly well if that's a word so we'll catch you guys later there we go all right so creeping up on mile 22 pace is still good Something weird happened back there and I still can't figure it out. So I'm running with this gentleman up there named Andy. He's actually a pastor, which is an interesting story. We both swear we were on the right path. It was exactly on our GPX files. Two different sources, him and mine. No one else there. And then we came out two miles later on the trail that I guess we were supposed to be at. So. I think we ran two miles too far. We'll see at the next aid station. So we're passing people semi-regularly now. And most of them look like they're probably a slightly lower caliber than runner with than us, which makes sense if we're uh, if we did two miles extra. So I was expecting an aid station around mile 24. Uh, kind of feeling now will be 25 or 26 hopefully not more but we will see it's very weird i've been lost before and i've known i was lost this time definitely no markers whatsoever for two miles but i swear i was on the path and andy fully agreed so we'll see what happens but we'll uh, check back we're definitely on the trail now but I'll, uh, I'll check back in and see what actually happened. But you can see, nice uh, hardwood forest. Still has a mountain view, which is almost always in sight. Got this uh, single track in the hardwoods. See a lot of rocks. So you can run it, make a pretty good time. Climb 3,000 feet, which is right about half of the course. So all in all, feeling good even with the lost section. Doesn't bother me too much at the moment. So we'll catch you. All right, <clears throat> creeping up on 27 miles. So 
Looks like we did two miles extra. Yeah. And the thought is, we actually ran the course properly, that it was marked wrong. It's kind of weird. Doesn't matter, I guess, but tons of people seem to do what we did, similar. So, just got through the aid station. Grabbed a big uh, handful of bacon, quesadilla, four Oreos. Heading back up to the aid station we were at before called Scales. And then, uh, then we run. So we're getting up into the highlands again, which is good. It's actually a little bit hot for me, which is a horrible thing to say. But uh, it'd be nice to get up there and get some breezes. So I'm climbing, breathing heavy. Still feeling overall pretty good. So we'll catch you in a little bit. Get to a little more scenic up here. All right, so same climb. This is a long one. I think this is the longest one by far. We've walked up 4,600 feet so far, so 6,000 total. We're uh, past three quarters. That's cool. Creeping up on 30 miles total. Looks like we'll be doing 46. But just uh, this old Jeep trail. See crystal blue sky, full sun. That's me still. I haven't changed really. I'm slowing down a bit, but still feeling pretty good. So we'll check in a bit. All right, so just drank a PBR, which is awesome. It's pretty cold. And I had a hot dog. And then I got these guys. So uh, we're doing good. We're on a downhill, so I'm going to start running. Next aid station, seven miles. Then I'll see Yulia. But uh, yeah, so cool to uh, see the hippos. All right. A little under 10 miles left. Just uh, pass through an area with a ton of people, which is kind of good because. They all look at you and say nice things. None of them call me an asshole. It's kind of cool. That's new. And then I had a close pony encounter. So, uh, it was literally like two feet away. And then I saw Bernie's Mountain Dog, which other than the Aussie is my favorite dog. So, uh, feeling fresh now. New energy. Been making some good time in the last couple miles. You can see him back in a little bit of shade and uh, nice soft running area, so that's good. So I was waiting for a spark and I think I got it. Now we gotta get us nine miles home. I'll see Yulia, which will be good. Got an aid station coming up in a couple of minutes. Not a couple minutes couple miles so we're in the home stretch although it's a 10 mile home stretch and we got a mostly downhill so feel good we'll circle back in a bit all right so 38 and a half in and out of the aid station quick had some bacon topped off my beverages it's a cool little section now. Some of the first single track we've had the whole course. Most of the course has been wider open. So, just enjoying the shade. This has got a lot of roots and stuff, so... Running a little bit. Big river down to the left, which you can hear, but uh, you can't really see it. And my favorite, rhododendron forest. So next stop is Yulia, my wife. It's about five miles. And then a pretty quick, I hope, shot to the finish line. 
Oh, we're gonna get down to the water. I think. Sorry for those angles. Very steep climb. Alright, so going super slow here because it's totally fucking cool. And because I can. I wasn't sure I was right. And there's my ribbon. Now I know I'm good. Alright. 41 miles. Five left. See Yuli in a couple. Everything else is good. Just came screaming down from there. Very runnable. And I'm still trying to run, so that's exciting. More of the single track stuff lately, which is good. You can see what I got going here. So I'm kind of running where I can, walking everywhere else. Trying to keep making a decent pace. Doing a decent job of it. Looks like I got a little climber up here. I want to give a shout out to the grandmas, which is uh, me and three college buddies and my wife's running buddy, Colette. And we're all gonna do ultra distances in an event only for 50 year olds and older. So I'll probably talk about that on some of my runs. But uh, that's pretty cool. Because none of my friends have done anything like that. And Colette's going for 100 miles. So that's where we're going. All right, so we're back. There's a little thing called the loop, which is what we're doing now. The we as in me. And uh, no, there's nothing in my pocket bagger. So uh, three miles uphill after I saw my wife, which I was not ready for. So, this course was right at 7,000 feet, not the 6,000 I was expecting. I spent most of those three miles walking with a guy that hurt his knee, just to, uh, just to be friendly, but he was, he was doing a good pace. He, uh, he stopped back there, he's skipping the loop. I try to get my money's worth, so. I'm doing this thing called the loop, which I guess is a mile and a half. It's a tough one to make any time on. It's uh, roots and rocks and ups and downs, but it felt like the way to end and the way to do the course properly for me. So, doing this loop, maybe halfway into it. Trying to run where I can, but the feet are getting tired, and this technical stuff gives me a decent chance to wind up on my ass. So that's it. Okay, this is about to be goodbye. I got less than a half a mile. This is the loop. Very, uh, very technical little section. Kind of cool. Glad I, uh, glad I did it. Which, it's on the course, so not really a choice if you're playing by the rules. There's me one more time. Next time you'll see me, I'll be uh, in the victory circle. Hopefully with a beer. So we'll catch you. Alright, 
you lack your speed.